don't worry, I'm a very, very non-violent person. Charing Cross. Charing Cross. 
Cross is 41 years old. How are you justifying getting rid of a hospital when your chairman said that St Mary's is willing to build St Mary's? We built Gunsborough, money from the government, and we built St Mary's. Yeah, and leave Charing Cross for the people of Hammersmith. You've taken away their money at the Hammersmith UK You put fear, not you personally, but your team, have put fear. You've been well headhunted. You've served your hospitals in Australia. They were run by partly Christian hospitals. They were a small centre with a quarter of the population where your, your, your customers were spread out and they had huge amounts of territory, completely different reconfiguration of me. 
and I have a right as a human being, I may be low paid riffraff, but my life is no less important or precious than yours, David Cameron's, or the homeless in the street. I want to. I know the Hammersmith. I was in, I was taken ill on a train about a month ago. Genuine. I was taken ill about nine o'clock on a train about a month ago. I was taken to uh, Westminster. It's got the highest death rate I know locally at the hospital. In Westmead, there was a businessman from abroad on a trolley being ambulanced over to the Hammersmith because he'd had a heart attack. Second thing is this. One of my children was told the other day, they're not sure, quote, if she's had a suspected heart attack. I swear to you now, just being diagnosed as a young diabetic, was told, was told to wait for the urgent care chest clinic. She's still waiting, but if she has that same pain going in her throat, down her arm and that weird feeling, she's to dial 999. That would be two dead children I'm burying because I've got two very ill children. I will fight to the bitter end. Charing Cross will stay. We'll be gone, but this hospital will stay. And our A&E will stay. Can I thank you very much for coming along? I do appreciate it. Whatever I say, Tracy, you will never agree with me, so we have to vote the government out. I don't know that you will ever agree with me either, but what I hope I'll be able to do is to continue to work with the community to explain why services do need to continue to change and evolve. We need our own A full blue light A&E. I've heard what you've said. Thank you very much for coming along.